hello everyone uh, welcome to the next video guys in this video i'll be talking about how we can install py spark on our windows machine there are three ways i'll be talking about today the very first way is uh, we can install via pip for installation via pip we should be having in our system python there are two requirements for installation of py spark one is python of course because the py means python spark second thing is java should be there so you can see we have already tested that java is already installed we can see uh, by writing a command java space hyphen version we got a java version it just simply says that java is already installed plus we have already have installed python as well we can have tested with the python space hyphen hyphen version python is already installed other thing is you can also you need to set up the path in your environmental variables we can see i've already have set up the environmental variables for java right so it means the java and python are the two requirements for this uh, installation once you have these two available then you what you can do go to your prompt go to your uh, terminal go to your powershell you have to install a py spark using a command pip space install py spark it will take a little time you can see uh, it's 317 mb in size it will take some time and it will give you the uh, py spark right it will take some time and uh, it will be installed so i've already have installed this so uh, just to save the time and second option is once we have this available the second option is we can also uh, make it run on the jupyter notebook as well okay for 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 doing it on jupyter notebook what we have to uh, do is we have to install this using a pip space install notebook find spark okay the very first thing which i told you it was for the py spark uh, if you want to want to uh, work with the py spark on your console on your terminal then you can install with the command pip space install space py spark but if you want to use the py spark inside the uh, jupyter notebook then you have to install this package pip space install space notebook space find spark uh, with this once it is installed you can open up your notebook uh, you can see i've already have opened up my jupyter notebook and you can just check out whether the uh, the spark is installed or not we have just written a very simple uh, basic program for printing the spark version so it has detected the spark version as 3.5.0 which clearly indicates that th this is integrated with the uh, this py spark right so it means my uh, i can run my py spark on my console on my powershell or on on my jupyter notebook the third way is what you can do is you can also install the uh, this using the uh, from the official website of apache spark you can download this setup from the official website of apache spark from here and once you have this file available dot tgz file available you can simply extract okay and you can extract and you can simply uh, put that uh, file in any of the location and give the path of spark in your environmental variables I've already have made this video for this. I'm, I'll be sharing the link of the installation of Apache Spark on Windows machine in this uh, description of this video. I can show you the Spark Home is already available here. You can see the Spark Home we have to set and you have to set the path also. You can see the path PATH. You can op uh, open up and you can see path is available. So it means the third way is first way is you can simply do it with the PIP space install space PY Spark. Second is you can do it for your Jupyter notebook. Third way is you can do it via official website you can download the setup of apache spark then because once you have the setup available you'll be having complete control on apache spark you have to just give the uh, the path in environmental variables and you're good to go and last one is which i want also to discuss is you can also make use of databricks community edition although we have databricks also offering you the uh, the premium version but if you don't want to pay anything you can also uh, register yourself on databricks uh, uh, this one uh, community edition and you can use this uh, py spark over there as well you can see i have selected the language as python and you can write your code here right so this is how we can uh, start we can uh, make use of uh, python uh, the py spark in your windows machine there are four way ways i've told you first is you can do it with the pip install py spark you can second you can do it for your uh, this jupyter notebook third you can do it for from your official website you can download a setup and then you can run the spark on your uh, uh, this powershell and last one is you can also make use of databricks community edition simply just have to make an account on databricks community edition and you're good to go and you can just use your uh, you can uh, uh, run your notebooks you can write your code over there right i hope you must have understood the installation process of the py spark thanks for watching guys see you next video